Hey guys, welcome back to another Switch Soldier 1 video. And today we are back in FSX to talk about quite a special plane. And as you can already tell, today we're gonna talk about the Skyvan plane. Yeah, the Skyvan plane. Now the Skyvan plane is very much known for being pretty much the ugliest plane in service. Yeah, this just looks like it has the aerodynamics of a Mercedes G-Class or a brick or what whatever. And the manufacturer of this aircraft is short brothers which i've honestly never heard of before it appears to be an irish manufacturer let's go to cockpit view important we don't have 3d cockpit which kind of sucks but yeah as long as it flies right let's go ahead and take off rotate yeah we have two turbo prop engines which hopefully provide enough power to properly fly this plane and we are flying in the olympic livery olympic is a greek airline and they were most probably using this plane to fly between the many Greek islands. They don't use this plane anymore. They have probably switched over to the Q400 fully. Because this plane is actually quite old. It had its first flight in 1963. Now, um, where the hell are we? We are at some random Caribbean island. Now, actually, something that was quite surprising to me was that this aircraft was not really a failure, after all. Around 150 of these were built. Not bad. Now, this is obviously not a passenger plane, though. This plane is only a cargo plane. Actually, it has quite a big cargo area. But I don't want to open the cargo door now, because that might be a, a bad idea, I guess. Also, this plane was and is still used for skydiving purposes. So like a plane that you jump out of with a parachute, hopefully. We might make it still quite a midfield landing, I would say, though. But how do I use reverse thrusters? Oh, this actually stopped quite fast. Alright, so, um, you know what? Let's just open the cargo door here. This kind of has a comparable size to a twin otter, so probably this will work, right? So, we are at Lucla, short runway, but maybe this will work out. Oh. Now, this plane was also used in military for some reason. <clears throat> let's just, uh, slew mode onto the runway. Alright, let's try taking off out of Lucla. Um, uh, I mean, why not? Okay, flaps 5 degrees. Mm-hmm. And yeah, this is quite a powerful plane after all. And it does not really need that much of a runway either, so probably this will work. Yes. Probably a tail strike, but we're good, right? Actually, I kind of do like this plane after all, even though it really doesn't look that pretty and it doesn't really look efficient either. But damn, how sharp can those flaps go? Oh, damn. You know, you can say this is quite an angle. <laughs> can we open the doors? Oh, yes, we can. But you can see this thing has quite a large cargo area, so you can fit quite a lot of stuff in there. This plane is unpressurized, so you cannot fly above around 10,000 feet or something, or you shouldn't, I guess. <laughs> so it kind of makes sense that this plane is really only used for skydiving anymore. Now in a passenger configuration, this thing seats around 19 passengers, which is quite a lot. Yeah, this plane is really not bad. It just doesn't really look sleek. It's it's a box, right? So yeah guys, what do you think about the flying shoe box? Follow me on my Instagram and I'll see you tomorrow as always. Good night.